After a one-year absence, it's great to see this outstanding college baseball rivalry back in the Queen City. From beautiful Truist Field in downtown Charlotte, the 103rd meeting between the Tar Heels of North Carolina and the number 11 Gamecocks of South Carolina. Not there, but offensively has plenty of ability as well. 3-1 pitch. This one is tagged to right center. On his horse is Brady Allen. A long run. He's not going to get there. That's going to skip up against the wall. Look at Zarate. Already around second. He'll get into third easily with a leadoff triple. Angel Zarate making some noise early here in Charlotte. That's right down the middle and laced into left field. And just like that, North Carolina breaks out in front one to nothing. On an RBI single from Justice Thompson, his 10th run batted in of the year. Tell you what, you got like that reaction right there for Scott Forbes. 2 1 break a ball, and it really just kind of hangs in the middle of the plate, but Thompson is all over it. Both Zarate's triple, and now the RBI single by Thompson came in plus count. Three at Florida State. This one is wrapped through on the right side. Thompson with his wheels. Thinks about third, but he'll hold it second. Three straight hits for the Tar Heels in the first, and that'll bring up Soretti. The one-two pitch. That's up in the wheelhouse. Soretti can't do much with it except lob it into center field, and that gets down for a hit. And everybody is safe. Base is full of Tar Heels on a bloop single to center from Danny Soretti, and there's still nobody out. The 0-1. Lifted right side. Again, long run for everybody. The second baseman, Heinrich, is going to make the catch. And the throw gets to the backstop. Here comes the runner, and Thompson is going to be out at the plate. Boy, that is a big break for South Carolina. They get two outs, and Jack Mahoney can breathe a sigh of relief. Good play by right there by Heinrich. It, it should be Eister's play, honestly, because it's a much easier play for the outfielder coming in. But Jack Mahoney, the pitcher's in a perfect spot. He's deep, and so even the ball that, that gets by Wes Clark, he's got enough time to react. We saw Justice Thompson immediately reach. They've called him out. He's out. Yep. In Charlotte. That's down. Struck him out. Chased it out of the zone. And Jack Mahoney limits the damage to just one. Here's the 3 2 to the leadoff man, and Allen coaxes a walk to start the game. Sophomore out of Lexington, Kentucky. That rides in and hits him in the shoulder. Two on, nobody out here in the first for the game cuts. The 1 2 to Seidler. Hit on the ground toward the first baseman. Kazi's got it. He'll flip to Alba, covering just in time to get the first out. Allen to third, Burgess to second. One down, and Big West Clark coming up next. Boy, this one is hit high, but not very deep. In fact, coming in a little bit is Zarate. He's got it measured, makes the catch. He's got a good arm. Here comes the throw. It's a little bit wide, and Brady Allen comes in to tie this game at one. This one is sprayed to right field and fairly deep on the warning track. Roberts reaches up and makes the catch. And that'll do it for South Carolina. That's something that's hard to practice, that's for sure. Up and in. Inflin goes after it. That's the second strikeout. A lot of things that can happen. You've got a conference tournament in there for most conferences. You got at least two, maybe three conference weekends. So had his job interview and that Thursday night. He had the job as head coach. It went very quickly. How about this? One pitch and a double play. Gage Gillian gets out of the inning on one pitch. That's how you do it. has been good. Brandon Jordan's been good. All of them with the arrows right around three. Angel Zarate, who started the game with a triple, now has his second hit as he gets a bingo here to start the third. And he goes back up the middle and through for a base hit. Zarate will stop at second. Two on, nobody out here in the North Carolina third. Ball, change up just to finalize everything, but that's the one you can't teach. It's a fastball that has good jump right there, and after a rough start, man, the freshman has come back, and he's looked great. To the third baseman, Inkler. And how about Gage Gilliam? 
Did he go? Yes, he did. Fourth strikeout for Jack Mahoney. It's a one, two, three, fourth. They've lost him for the entire season. It is a very different LSU team, and that's a good breaking ball right there from Gillian that just I, I don't think it's I don't think it's confident thoughts right now. Back to back strikeouts, two down. Confident. Pitcher friendly. Hit on the ground and through for a base hit. So finally, Gillian gives up a base knock, and it comes from Andrew Eister. First, the 0-2, swung on and missed. Three strikeouts in the inning for Gillian. 2-2 pitch. Caught the outside corner, and Thompson goes down looking, I think, right? That's 15, Eister is 6, and that's a four-pitch walk. Ground ball to the shortstop, Soretti. Hmm. Strong throw, and that's going to be a double play. It's down. He walked the number nine man. Second walk allowed. And that's a leadoff walk for Pry to Allen. The one two pitch. Checked his swing. Didn't mean to, but it happens, and Burgess is an out. As Pry gets North Carolina out of the inning. They're going to get into the postseason. Now it's a leadoff walk given up by Lloyd. ACC this year. Here's the 3-2. That's outside. Walked him. Two on. Nobody out for North Carolina here in the sixth. Anyhow. What do you know? <laughs> we are both wrong. Again. Our streak is still perfect. <laughs> Has an analyst ever been fired in the sixth inning of the game? <laughs> I don't know. The 0-2 to Stokely. That's going to push a run home. As Heinrich flips to first, Roberts scores, and North Carolina goes in front here in the sixth inning, 2-1. to one. Team with a lot of power and a lot of offense. And that lead is going to be just one. An injury, but that is a giant offensive loss, loss for Ole Miss if they can't get it back. Josiah Seitler jumps on the first pitch of the inning, and he rides it out of here to tie the game at two. Fourth home run of the year for Seitler, and North Carolina's lead doesn't last very long. The reaction of Seitler right away says he knew that he got it. This ball didn't go out by much, though. I mean, it maybe goes out by three or four feet to center field. Just as Thompson gives chase, looks up, can't get there, but that doesn't clear the wall by but a one-two pitch to the Canadian. And lashes it to the second baseman, Castagnazzi. And it's a solo home run allowed to Seitler by Pro. One-one pitch to center. And that's Brady Allen backing off, and he's going to make the catch a few steps in front of the warning track for the last out. Did he go? You bet he did. A 1-2-3 inning for Pry. Just eight pitches needed from Peters. Missed again. Walked him. Here's the payoff. Got it. And that ends the inning. Walked him. A two-out walk for Seitler, and now O'Brien. Line drive. Snagged by Soretti. Are you kidding me? This guy's trying to win a gold glove in nine innings. A six-pitch inning for Bosnick. A one, two, three, ninth in South Carolina. And now here's Menda, first pitch swinging, making a bid for extra bases. This is going to roll all the way into the corner. Zarate is going to hurry it back in, but it's a one-out double for Mendham, and the game-winning run is out at second base. He's gone first pitch changeup. It was a changeup, but all he could do is pop it up. And we're going to extra innings in Charlotte. 9-1-2 and two for the Tar Heels. Good bunt. Bosnick not going to have a play, and he throws it into the bullpen. Dallas Tesser 
Got to feel the clock riding game. on it. Yeah. Toward the hole. Tough play. Khalil pulls the first baseman off the bag. Two on and one out. And Caleb Roberts due up next. The 0-2. Another breaking ball. Back up the middle. Base hit. They're going to send the runner. Here comes Zarate. The throw. Not in time. And North Carolina goes in front. 3-2. to two. As Roberts delivers with an RBI single in the 10th. That's a big time at bat right there because he did not look comfortable the first two breaking balls. But what he did is he went to school on. So the first breaking ball, Roberts was bailing. The second one, he stayed in enough. By the third one, he had seen it three times in a row. And it's that's too good of a hitter to throw that pitch 0-2. And now Danny Ceretti, who's been an ace in the field. Throw down to third from Clark, not in time. How about a stolen base for Justin Thompson? And Roberts is at second as well. Coach, then the associate head coach. This is where he belongs. Bostic ele elevates the fastball right there to keep it a one-run game. And he has done that. But the RBI single by Caleb Roberts. Now, Khalil wraps it to third. Mac Horvath has come in for the Tar Heels. The one-two to Allen. Chased it. Strike three. Two down. Got him. That was entertaining. North Carolina wins it 3-2-10.